I'm gonna show you how to build this working grill. What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. We got this uh, cute looking grill here. I think you could just stick it anywhere. Might be nice in like a campground or out in a backyard, something like that. Um, I did another one a while ago, but that was like a fireplace grill that actually had like a fireplace. This one I think is more of like a, like a backyard grill. A very similar concept, only this one has a very cool feature. Okay, so you put your, whatever you want to cook on there, any kind of the, the raw meats. So you could put fish, you could put the, the pork, you could put rabbit, whatever. All of that stuff on here. Um, cheap, the, whatever that's called. Um, and then you come over here. You light it up. Right? It's going to go. Now let's just see when it cooks. You'll notice that inside here, oh, I already have four. Let me get rid of those so you can see it. Okay, as soon as they're done, right, as soon as they're done, they will pop off. They'll go into the hopper that's underneath and go into our barrel. So we'll just wait for them to cook. The good thing about this is you can do four of them at once, which I really like as opposed to a furnace, which obviously is not uh, four. So you go down here, boom, you got all, I mean, well, I mean, you could do a lot more at once in a furnace, but what I mean is you have to wait for all of them to come out. This one is like, as soon as it's done, you got four. It's not like one and then wait and then one. You know what I mean? Uh, but the cool thing about this is you want to be safe, right? You don't want to start forest fires or anything like that. So you press this button real quick and it puts out the fire. Now you can go do whatever you got to do. So it just adds a more realistic feel to your world. Obviously, you can just have the flame going at all times. You don't need the extra redstone. But if you're going to take the time to build something like this, why not make, make it a little more legit? Uh, you also do not need this observer here. You could just put a regular block if you don't like the look of this. And then just press it and then press it again for the water. I just wanted to make it a one button press to where it turns itself on and off. So really quick pulse. Okay, so that's entirely up to you. Uh, let's just get into what you need and how to build it. Okay, here's everything you're going to need. Either pause it, look in the description, or take a screenshot. Let's go. Really, really simple. Put a barrel. I like it this way without the thing facing up. Okay, just put it in the ground. Crouch, place a hopper into that barrel. Okay. Before we do anything else, so this is the front of it. Turn around on the right side, which would technically be the left. We're going to put an observer if you want to do it. Otherwise, you could just do the two brick blocks right there. You're going to put a dispenser face in this way and a dispenser face in that way. Okay. Behind it, so again, this is the front now. You're going to put a block. So it should look just like this on the base. Okay. Now you can go ahead and you can put your campfire down. Okay. On top of these blocks right here, we're going to be putting uh, stairs. So we're going to crouch, put stairs there, stairs there. Crouch, put stairs, oops, or actually crouch, put stairs there and there. And then actually you can come behind it in one, two, just like that. Okay, now we're going to put more stairs here and here, just like so. Okay, cool. Now on top of it, you're going to go ahead and you're just going to put down a junk block and then put a uh, slab right on top. And then right on this left stair block, which is above the left dispenser, right on the bottom, you're just going to go ahead and place your iron trap door. I like the iron trap door kind of, to me, it looks kind of like a grill on the top. Even though we're putting it underneath, that's just how, that's just the feel that I was going for. You can change it if you do not like that. Okay. Whoops. No, not fish. I don't know why I did that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put our whatever trapdoor you want. I wanted the one that is closest looking to the barrel. So I, I went ahead and I put spruce. Put your buttons on before you fill them up. All right. So button there, button there. I like the look of stone. You can use whatever one you want. It does not matter. I um, You will get a little bit of a, a shorter pulse with the... Uh, wooden one, so that's up to you, whatever you want to do. Now on this left side, you're just simply going to put one bucket of water. On this side, if you can get more fire charges, fill them up. Otherwise, just stick a couple in there for now. But I'd say just fill this bad boy up with fire charges if you could. It's probably all, all the uh, fire charges you're ever going to need. I doubt you're going to use this thing that much. Okay, I like to start with it off. Okay, and then for the uh, final piece, you're just going to Go ahead and put an item frame on top with your cooked whatever you want to do there, uh, right there. And that's it. That's the whole thing. So you light it up. You put your food on. It goes into the barrel. You do it again. Rinse and repeat. And then when you're done, make sure you turn it off for fire safety. Captain Obvious out.
Peace.